It's the weekly reset and we're going to go over what's available for this week and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So as you guys can tell, Season 2 is about to end and this is going to be the very last week of Season 2 for the Iron Banner. So yes, the Iron Banner has returned for the very last time in Season 2. So let's go ahead and start off with the milestones first. So, we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, and World Activities. Then we have the Leviathan, which you need to beat the Raid or the Raid Lair. Call to Arms, which you win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Then we have the Nightfall. And this week's Nightfall is Savathun's Song. Next, we have uh, the Flashpoint is on Mercury. And if you do the heroic versions of this, then you can get it done faster. Then your daily is the Iron Banner, which you need to complete three challenges in the Iron Banner. And last but not least, we have the Heroic Strikes. So, let's go ahead and see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Like always, we are going to start with emotes. First, we have the Selfie Emote. as well as the sweeping emote. Next, for our vehicles, we have the Stripped Abandon. Looks pretty cool. Then for our ship, we have the Arm Coat. Ornaments, we have the Black Plague for the Rat King. And then we also have Reef in Ruins for the Telesto. Armor of the Week is Class Armors, and for the Warlock, it is the Omega Mechanos Bond. And that's pretty much what it looks like. For the Ghost, we have the Captain C Shell. And then we have your Void Effects Transmat Effect. And for the Shaders, we have the Monochromatic. And that's what it looks like. And then we have the Golden Trace. Last but not least, we have your Fire Team Medallion, your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, and of the Crucible. I never realized how short Lord Saladin was. I guess old age got to him. <laughs> Let's see what he has this week. So, for the gear, obviously we have the regular gear, and then we have your ornaments from which you can see how to actually get them. But for the weapons, we have the Durham's Claw, which is a pulse rifle. This has adaptive frame on it, as well as SLO 10 post, SPO 26 front, and SRO 41 ocular. Then it also has a pendant mag, drop mag, and outlaw. Then we have Orimundum's anvil, whatever the hell you say that. <laughs> or Orimunds, because uh, <laughs> with precision frame, uh, IS2 classic, model 6 loop. Mark 15 lens, uh, accurized rounds, steady rounds, as well as under pressure. And I apologize, this is an auto rifle. And last but not least, we have your grenade launcher, which is Oring's Maul. This comes with lightweight frame, countermass, quick launch, confined launch, uh, concussion grenades, blinding grenades, as well as auto loading holster. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get your treasure maps, and this week's treasure maps are on Mercury. 
So go ahead and grab those, or that. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.